You know what? Don't be on a rush to invest before you understand this rule called the 72 rule of investment. You know what? In any given thing that we do on this world must be guided by the principles. We call them the rules and regulations. And by the way, I told you one thing. Investment is not an emergency. Don't just rush it to invest because people are investing. And you have this feeling of like, hey, you know what? I'm missing out. The fear of peace out and all those kind of things. So come on. See, first of all, understand it to a thing that you already understand it. Okay? By the way, I made a whole video about that information. Go check it out there. So today I'm going to share with you don't rush into an investment before you understand the 72 rule of investment what is it and what does it talk about that's what i'm going to talk about today in a very quick way and by the way don't forget if you're watching me for the first time this is good joseph speaking talk about money investment anything related to exactly that and by the way i do upload a video each and every day and by the way you can do something that you don't miss any of my good videos make sure that you hit that small button with their subs written subscribe and also like the video make sure that you comment down below let's get the pistols now what is 72 rule of investment and what does it entail okay since 72 rule of investment it's a sort of a tool actually it's a tool it's a tool you see they usually have a formula for example if you want to calculate i don't know at the longest side of hypotenuse i don't know what square what what square root of what remember all those formulas that we, talk, we used to apply on mathematics it's always good to understand some information for example there's something you see in anything that you invest there's something called roi roi return of investment when do i get back my money that is the point for example let's say today i get my take my a million bob yeah i take my a million one million okay i invest it somewhere how long will it take me to actually get my money back because remember one thing during investment or when we are investing the very first principle and rule to follow is to do what capital preservation at all the time, preserve your capital. And the mistake that you can never do when you get yourself into an investment is when you get into an investment or a business and your capital is at risk. Okay, fine. You can risk your capital. There's no problem. But risk that what you know you can part ways and everything will be okay with you. But you cannot just put your dear money into a thing that does not preserve your any capital. That's what you're supposed to understand. So there's something called ROI, that is return of investment. When will I get back my money? For example, if today I take my 10 million, put it in a, a rental, or maybe let's say real estate or something of sort, will it take me 10 years, 15 years, or whatever the period of top V2, do what we call the break even? There's something called break even there's something called break even break even is to recoup back your money is to get back that what you channeled towards an investment so that at least we feel like wow at least my money is back now let me see how this will function now use this something called the 72 rule of investment and how does it function let's get into the business by the way if you hit mathematics mm, but this one is an easy one anyway i promise you now this is what you do for example if today you come across let's say an investment let's call it an mmf call it a bill treasury bonds whatever the investment it is what you consider on that investment is what we call the interest rate interest interest rate what is the interest rate for example let's get you let's say you go uh, by the interest rate of say 12 percent okay 12 percent okay per annum that is per annum that is per year so so for you to understand exactly how long will it take me to go ahead and do what break even you take this 72 my pen is refusing to work with pay. if you take this 72 percent or 72 this magical number 72 divided by 12 so if you were to cancel this this goes by six so it T6. Now, this magical figure 6, this is the long it will take you to double your money. Actually, not to go back, but to do what? To double your money. To double your money. To double your money simply, in other words, it simply means when will I get my money back? You get what I'm saying? For example, there's something we talked about compounding effect. Compounding, compounding <coughs> effect. Compounding effect is where your money is giving birth to money that gives birth and in that process has what we call the sort of a snowball effect whereby it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as the time goes. That's what we call the compounding, all right? Now, the question is this, when will my money double? Because that's the question that people ask me. And when the money doubles, literally we're asking, when will I get my money back? Assuming that you're eating your cash. And, 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 and I see if you have a track record, be like, okay, fine. The amount of money that I've written as of now actually is equivalent to that what I did put in. But obviously, if you want to realize the compounding effect, don't withdraw that cash. What you do, you channel that money, you know, you plow it back, you say you roll it over or plow back, whichever the time is appropriate for you. So that is exactly the principle of investment. So take any given number that you've been promised out there in terms of the return. Let's say maybe they give you 15. <clears throat> Let's say maybe they give you 15. For example, you take the 72 divided by 15. If that is the 
interest rate. Now that magical number that you get out there, for example, this will give you like four or something of, of sort. So that number that you get here, let's call it X, it will take you X time, X time to do what? To actually double your money. And that's why I always tell people when it comes to the world of investment, okay? For example, another, maybe we have some, for example, there was a bond that was giving us at 18%, assuming that we were to go ahead and put that money out there. So it is 72 divided by 18, all right? You get what I'm saying? So then at that particular point it becomes, at that particular number, let's say the number here is Y. So it will take you Y time, Y time to double your cash. And that's why I told you people, you see, when you want to realize the sweetness of investment, because never forget this, investments, they have low risks and they have low returns. And guess what? The sweet part of it, you bank on time. They have low risk, low returns, and what you do for you to realize a good chunk of money is actually the consistency and time. If you want to get good cash when it comes to the investment, be a respect of time. If you put your, for example, let's let's start here. Let's, let me show you a thing practically, okay? So, for example, if you say like each and every month, I'll be setting aside like 5,000. 5,000 each and every month, okay? 5,000 by the end of first year, first year, Guess how much you have? You're going to have yourself 60,000. You're going to have yourself 60,000. That is cash money that you have actually done what set aside in that investment. You've not calculated yet what we call the, uh, the interest rate or the interest out of it. So let's say maybe this money is subjected to something like 13 or 14 percent. Let's say subjected to a 14 percent. Probably you're going to get on top of this like uh, talk of like 8,000 or something. 8,000. Okay. I'm just drawing out numbers there. You can do the actual calculations. Now at the end of the year, you have yourself 68,000 at the end of the year, all right? I know this is not a huge amount of money at the end of the year, in a period of 365 days. It appears as if you have not done anything. It appears as, hey, you know what, Joseph, just 8,000 in a whole sp in a whole period of year? Uh, fine, you may not realize a thing. If you go ahead and do the second year, now the second year, what happens? Remember, you're doing the continuation of, uh, of, of setting aside the 5,000 each and every month. Now you're on the second, <clears throat> second year. Guess what happens on the second year? The second year, you have the normal contribution, which is 60,000. Don't forget about it. All right? And you have an existing 68,000. 68,000. Remember? Remember that month for money? So, now, guess what happens? This 68,000, 68,000 plus 60,000, all right? Now, gives you, gives you this one, 28,000. That's what you have. Now, this one is subjected to 14%. Now, you get 14% of this amount of money. What is 14% of 128,000? And that's a very huge amount of money, honestly. Therefore, you're going to get, let's say you get X amount, X amount. Now, you also realize, wow, I think now things are becoming okay. But now, by the time now you are on your third year, by the time now you're on your third year, that's the time now you start to realize, wow, I think this is a serious game. And guess what happens? If you do continue with 5,000 each and every month, 5,000, 5,000, and you're getting as, as, as this 14% 14 per year in a period of 10 years, in a period of 10 years, as simple as that, as simple as it may sound, in a period, you're going to have yourself 1 million. And it's not just 1 million, but over 1 million. And remember, I made a whole video explaining to you how do I compound 5,000 to 1 million. This is the formula. It's the magic of what? The compound effect. All right? And, 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 and again, if you'd like to know when will you double your money, you simply use the 72 rule of investment. So you take the 72 divided by 14, and then you go ahead and double your money. But don't forget this. When we say 72 rule of investment is when you double your money without doing any contribution. There is no continuation of contributing. For example, if you take a million bob, you put it in an investment that is giving you 12%. It will take you six years to double your money, okay? That is to get the two million with you when you're actually doing what? When you're actually investing your money in a thing that is giving you the compound effect. Because you have to understand one thing. There is a difference between a simple interest and a compound interest, okay? Or flat interest. I don't know how you people call it, whichever the point. So when I say the 72 rules, when you double your money is when you're not doing any other contribution. You take an X amount of money, put it out there in that period of time, you're going to double your money. But when you come on this other side, when you're doing the continuations again, it's quite of an interesting thing area in terms of investment and can actually earn you a huge chunk of cash. So the point was this when I was introducing this video is make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into, what is the ROI on this, what are the 
nitty gritties of this investment so that at least you pick a thing that is working for you a thing that you understand hey you know what it's not good you get you into an investment and then you're learning about it when you're already into it for example i had a client who we were talking about how to invest on a money market fund she didn't even understand how the money market fund goes fast she had just texted me i told her you can do this and this and this and then all of a sudden before even you understand anything you start sending money to those companies you don't even understand what you're getting yourself into and i asked her why did you even send the money without even understand if you have not even opened them the, 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 the account you just saw us uh, you saw a pay bill and then you paid the money and you sent the money even the company itself was calling her hey you know what so and so <clears throat> you sent your money your money is not yet subjected to an investment because we do not have an account with you you do not take time to open your account kindly forward your documents and such kind. see don't be on this this this, this sort of a rush or some things like you're missing out it's like opportunities closing you see they have been with us, they will be with us. Just take time, understand. And that's why I always tell people, get to understand these people. If you get their contact, ask them questions, consult, understand. So by the time now you're taking that money and putting to those investments, you already know what you're getting yourself into. And maybe perhaps let's say you're busy, you're occupied and you have a lot of busy schedule. You don't have time to read all those things. That's why somebody like me comes on board. And I always tell you, my number is always in the description of this specific video. You can grab it. Give me a call. I can be able to take you through step by step on what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed everything whether you're within the country outside the country and all those kind of things for just a coffee, co cup of coffee surprise i explain to you everything out there so it's always good to make sure consult your financial advisor by the time you're making an investment so that at least you understand hey guess what you might think that investment is appropriate for you but maybe business is or maybe a different thing is appropriate for you so the point is this understand what you need when you need it so that at least you may pick that what is appropriate and right for you Guess what? That marks the end of my video, but don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and make sure that you like this video. And by the way, don't forget, at all the time, I upload a video every day. Make sure that you hit that subscription button for now. It's a goodbye, and see you in the next one.